Ja sam Andreja Šipuš i samo sam dijelić cijele ove priče koje se tiče sajma i foruma i razmjene sjemenja. Prije nekakvih šest godina sam počela unutar knjižnice organizirati razmjene sjemenja. I iz te priče je polako došlo i do ove priče između ostalog. Znači narasla je puno više nego što smo mi i jedne sekunde mogli pomisliti da bi se moglo dogoditi. Znači vrlo smo zadovoljni sa cijelom pričom. Nama su možda bitni naši hobisti zato što su oni iz ovog nekakvog lokalnog dijela, ali ima jako puno malih OPG-a koji djeluju isto u našoj županiji i genijalno je što ljudi u stvari mogu međusobno komunicirati da vide na koji način se radi negdje drugdje jer ima puno iskustva, a ovakvi sajmovi genijalno dođu zato što se informacije dijele, razmijenjuju se i primjenjuju se, znači postaju praktični. Prvi najvažniji organizator je ZMAG, znači oni su razgovarali sa Vandanom i forum je njihov projekt, a sa ovog lokalnog dijela ide građanska inicijativa Sjemenka i Narodna knjižnica Čitaonica Vladu Gotovac koja je u stvari podražavala cijelu priču i podražava je i dalje. Ja sam Sučana Pešak iz Udruge ZMAG i ovo što danas organiziramo je forum za prekremeni suverenitet. To je četvrti po redu forum koji organiziramo u stvari sa ciljem promoviranja prava malih obiteljskih gospodarstva, seljaka, prava tih ljudi koji nas hrane. I isto tako želimo naglasiti važnost očuvanja tih osnovnih resursa kao što su recimo plodno tlo ili sjeme tradicijskih sorata, tradicijskih pasmina i općenito plodna zemlja koju želimo sačuvati u rukama građana, u rukama seljaka, proizvođača i svih oni koji žele obrađivati. Mi se zalažemo za slobodu sjemena, znači zalažemo se za to da svako od nas ima pravo na svom gospodarstvu, vrtu, uzgojiti sjeme koje je taj osnovni resurs i zalažemo se za to da se to sjeme može slobodno razmjenjivati, da se mogu stvarati mreže sjemenara gdje će ta raznolikost onda stvarno biti očuvana. Tu je nekoliko sjemenara koji su donijeli svoje kolekcije ne znam, vjerojatno ima preko 100, 200, možda i više sorata koje su ljudi donijeli. Neke od njih su stvarno stare sorte, ugrožene sorte, neke od njih su veli mi nove sorte. Neke od tih sorata su onako dosta široko u potrebi, a dosta njih je onih za koje u stvari ni ne znamo, ne postoje neka istraživanja. U stvari to je problem što mi u Hrvatskoj uopće ne znamo koliko mi imamo ti domaći sorata, šta je od njih ugroženo, šta nije. Na sortnim listama je registrirano jako malo, znači svega nekih 15 sorata koje su stvarno zabilježene. international economy but globalization is just another word for the concentration of wealth in the hands of a few mm -hmm. corporations and global players mm -hmm. and uh, I'm against injustice I'm against exploitation I'm against lies I'm against cruelty and that's why I'm against globalization we need to stop the violence against the earth it's the only way we survive as human beings and we need to stop the wars that are artificially created mm -hmm. between people mm -hmm. and Yugoslavia has got fragmented because of those totally unjust wars mm -hmm. India was fragmented in 47 by the British when they divided us into Pakistan I define the feminine principle <laughs> as the creative power that all of us have. the power to uh, both unleash our own creative energies and recognize the creative energies of others as well as nature. Um, and that feminine principle is in everything. It's in the streets, in you, it's in me. Non-violence is a precondition. Not just a peace, but a life. 
and therefore we must <laughs> unleash the power yeah. of love. Thank you. When we share and we give gifts to each other and thank you to the seed saver who gave me this gift of seed, no seed saver ever says this is my property. You have to pay me a royalty. And it isn't that seed was invented by anybody. But the com companies that had brought us the poisons now said we will claim seed to be our invention so we can collect royalty and we can privatize the seed and make money out of poisons on the one hand and out of royalties for seed on the other. And that's the day I decided I would start saving seeds. And I want to really pay, play, pay a tribute to all of you from this area who are saving every tiny seed. You are saying no to the privatization of life. There is a very strange thinking that is being used to privatize this planet. Industry that's taking over the seed is the same industry that brought us the poisons, the pesticides, the chemicals. Pesticides and chemical fertilizers are less than a hundred years old. They started in Hitler's labs. The same factories that were making explosives also started to make nitrogen fertilizer. There is this pretension that you can substitute with artificial things the food that comes from the soil and from real seed. We've seen the cancer epidemic grow in the world everywhere cancer because of those pesticides. But because the companies want to sell these poisons and these seeds, they make it look like without buying these costly ingredients, we can't grow food. And then we said, okay, they keep talking money all the time, you know. They take away everything we have and then say, you don't have money. No, you took our land, you took our seeds, you took our jobs, you took our factories. But you're even stealing the finances. In no local language does the word money mean wealth. No local language. So they take a word which meant being well, being healthy, being happy, and turn it into money. There's a new study out from Oxfam which shows that 80 billionaires, 80 rich men in the world control as much wealth as 3.5 billion people, that's half of humanity. And if this process of exploitation continues, within a few years, they will control the wealth of 99% of humanity. They're telling small seed savers, if you grow local seed, it's agri-terrorism. So we are going to go back to the US and tell them how they fought racism, how Martin Luther King took Gandhi's lessons and said we will not obey unjust racist laws, we're going to remind them that humanity always has the freedom to not subject themselves to injustice. Ecology is the knowledge and science of how this planet works and our homes work and our communities work. Economy is supposed to be the management on the basis of that knowledge. The current e economy is based on extraction. You exploit nature and you exploit society. And this extraction leads to accumulation of wealth and those 80 billionaires get rich. We have to move to a circular economy. When we have a circular economy, we give back to nature. And when we give back, we actually generate real wealth. This is an economy of abundance. When I can save it, grow it, eat part of it, share part of it. Scarcity is created when a company like Monsanto says, that seed is mine. So there's a war against all of the potential of the earth and people to create and produce. The thing about war and a war mentality is you don't have to know what you're destroying. Peace and love require compassion and that means co-passion, to know the other 
and welcome another species, another person. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could do that